how do you upload documents into your vector database using make.com? So uploading documents into a vector database can actually be kind of complex. It involves taking a document, splitting up the text in that document, and then embedding each of those blocks of split up text using uh, an AI service like OpenAI, then taking those embeddings, and then putting those into your vector store. Well, I figured out how to do all of that using make.com, um, uploading documents into a vector store that I created in Qdront, and I'd like to show you how I did it. Now let's talk about how to upsert documents into your QDRONT vector data store using make.com. So the trigger is a form. This is very simply just a form that takes a file. Uh, once I submit a file, it is then downloaded into make here and it triggers this flow. And then this first HTTP get a file module actually uploads that file into the make.com system. This set multiple variables module is the first to help with the process of splitting the text into chunks. In order to upload it into a vector store, it needs to be split up. So first we turn that data into words again. So it comes out as base64, and then this two string, two binary uh, formula here takes that base64 and turns it back into text. And then here we also set the chunk size to 4,000 characters. You can make this whatever you like, but I like to use 4,000 character chunks. The repeater repeats however many times is necessary in order to make sure that the entire length of the text is broken up into 4,000 character chunks by using this length. So this spits out a number um, of however many characters the text is, and then we divide that by the chunk size, and that's how many times it'll repeat. And then this last set variable actually does the splitting, does the chunking. Then we take the results of that chunk split and transform it to a JSON because um, it needs to be in JSON format for the, the API call. This is a GPT API call, so make an API call to the V1 embeddings URL um, in order to embed that chunk of text in the JSON string. We use text embedding three small because it is the most inexpensive and efficient of the embedding models. And then this aggregator aggregates all the embeddings because there's going to be 1,536 of them, uh, all little strings of numbers. So we have to grab all of those and put them in one block. And that's what the text aggregator does. Then we have an increment function. Um, and the reason is because uh, the embeddings need to be labeled. And then we have this HTTP API call. It's a put method. And this is uh, to call QDRONT and upsert these documents. So it's a put to the cluster URL slash collection slash the name of the collection slash points because these are vector points that we are upserting. And then here is the JSON. So batch IDs, that is the increment function because every uh, vector has to have its own ID. So we just number them. And then the vectors, now here's a formula that takes the spaces out from in between them because if there are spaces, this JSON will fail. So we split into separate sub arrays, all of the vectors, and then we rejoin them. But this time, when they're joined, there is no space in between. And then the payloads is the text. So we have to name the payloads as well. So text, and then the increment number, and then the JSON string. And this will upsert documents into your vector store. Now, it's really important that we look at this too. Uh, it needs to go into its own collection, but you're going to have to create a collection first. How you do that, separately, you just connect this and then right click and then run this module by itself. Uh, you go to your cluster URL slash collections slash name, whatever you want to name your collection. This is also a put method. And then the JSON is simply vectors size 1536 because that's the size that uh, OpenAI's um, embedding models output and then distance cosine. That's it. And then once you do that, your new collection will be created and it has to exist first in order for you to be able to upsert documents into it. And that's how you do it.